Hi friends, welcome to Sorel Trader. We will do the weekly review. So uh, first of all, we will look at S&P 500. So S&P 500, you know, you went long here with our first target of 5560 uh, on the SPY. If you see S&P 500, uh, you know, those who follow me on Twitter, I told you that 555 will come. 555 came only in two days. And since then, there has been a move and uh, the market has gone up now market went up one two three four continuously it went up for eight nine days only in the high a few futures you know it will just keep going up and then uh, there was a shakeout effort uh, just before the fomc jackson hole meeting and uh, market if you see couldn't really take out this low which was a bullish sign and uh, we closed above uh, the previous day's low which was another sign that you know this might really might go up and then we again gapped up and you know but right now market is at a critical point where uh, you know a lot of people have bullish bias and now most of the time when it happens uh, markets surprises so there is a possibility that there might be a, uh, a pullback uh, to fill this gap can happen before we go up market sentiment is bullish but you have to be very cautious don't trade without hedges even if you are trading futures futures should never be traded without hedges but even if you are trading options or something try to minimize your risk as much as possible now what are the other trades we took you know we booked full profits in our evp uh, etf system uh, in our etf we took out full profits in evp you know there was a breakout after we sold but that's always there you know so we took out full profits then uh, there was another profit uh, that we booked in the ksa etf system the ksa trade so ksa we got our first full target of four percent and now uh, again uh, the momentum is continuing there is a possibility that this may head more higher and from there it might uh, make another uh, you know try to make another previous high or at least you know we might see 43.62 coming in in several ETF system, you know, we minimize our risk to a very large extent uh, because the system itself uh, is very tried and tested. We start buying at key levels. So those of you, you know, who are interested in better risk adjusted uh, trades can look at our ETF system that is priced also $14.99 per month only. Now, some of the recent trades that we took uh, is on INDA ETF, uh, which is INDA. This is India ETF. We entered a little late here. The move has already taken a little bit more space. But uh, as per our analysis, you know, we might be heading higher. This is an established uptrend and we may do a lifetime breakout here and possibly make a new uh, high before it something happens and right now even after such bad news from Hindenburg uh, markets are not showing any relent this shows inherent strong uh, momentum in the markets uh, another trade that we took was in Turkey ETF in our ETF system so Turkey is in a downtrend and is trading much below the fair value technically now fundamentally also it is below the fair value as per our assessment and we initiated a position on Friday and uh, we will see how it goes uh, a lot of people have asked me why are you buying something in long you know in in uptrend why are you buying something in weekend you know something in, in in downtrend the answer for that is very simple we are traders and we have multiple systems so some systems by weakness some systems by strength and uh, you know we don't mind you know what's happening Bo all our systems are uh, basically uh, established to make money in whatever market conditions we are if you look at our last trade on ECH on ECH also you know we started our trade somewhere here and a lot of clients didn't buy it because they said it's a downtrend and then you know we added some more here and then it went up parabolic uh, similarly we had happened with us in EVH Cloud we booked complete profits in cloud ETF, you know, around 20.10. So we got overall 5% in this trade in around 45 days. And we also have a position in MSOS. Now, this is an ETF of Cannabis ETF. 
and in cannabis ETF we have seen that uh, there is a lot of consolidation happening for last uh, almost two months complete sideways you know range bound trading is happening uh, this uh, signal came in it looked like there should be uptrend but this is a slanting move uh, the 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 uh, pivot was slanting down and a lot of these buyers who got stuck here you know sold out and then we are again in a move here now if we make a lower low again uh, you know and we turn around then this breakout might come in which possibly can lead us to almost a target of nine so this is a trade that we are in we also booked the profit full profit uh, half profits in paypal so paypal uh, you know was in a consolidation big time a lot of people have asked me you know what i we did with paypal so paypal has been long uh, we we booked we went long at around 55 or something then we booked all profits we re-entered and we got trapped the last time you know and and it it just didn't go anywhere went into a consolidation and this time it just broke out now once it has broken out uh, it has been uh, in a consolidation a lot of selling pressure is coming in but the price is able to sustain above 70 now with this uh, there is a sign you know the market sentiment remains good the gap fill is over okay we may break out into a new territory altogether which will be interesting to see as of now we are holding our half position uh, then we added last week again we added to our position in pfizer pfizer we sold uh, at this candle and then it came down we have just bought back all the shares that we sold we think fundamentally uh, value is still there and we make another move up higher with interest rates coming down there is a very big chance that these stocks will again start making big moves now if interest rates go down by say 100 basis points and the dividend yield is six percent you can expect another 15 percent move just because of the interest rate cuts so the, we are very bullish on pfizer uh, not only just uh, it's a great company also because the value is becoming good now we see baxter trade on baxter uh, this has undervalued our, our expectations but you see you know typically how markets operate you know there was the markets went above the uh, the mean and they were going up and then uh, there was a sharp downtrend you know if you see this downtrend happened on a good news so basically the news was that uh, the, the Baxter is kind of divesting his interest in in his uh, kidney care division and they will get some three billion dollars out of it now this was a good news but look at the reaction in the markets what market makers did they were trying to completely shake out the uh, the small traders which they successfully did and then you know we actually could have bought more but we didn't uh, we uh, now we are almost at the same price and if everything goes well this breakout happens when we are looking at a target of around 41 to come in this if this breakout is successful we have a long position um, then uh, we booked profits in Plow, we booked profits in EWP, we are long KSA uh, and uh, we are long Nike as well. Nike, uh, we uh, we missed one big move in it. Uh, we already have a position which is currently in loss. But uh, fundamentally again the company is uh, getting better and the tactical setup is getting better if we break out and sustain above this level we may see a further reclamation of the previous highs that it made uh, let's look at some of the leading charts uh, we have a new trade that we are tracking this is on uh, hdb which is hdfc bank adr it's the largest bank in india most profitable this one has given me a signal actually signal came here but we took it late there is a confirmation we might see another six seven eight percent kind of moves coming in there uh, then uh, we are also watching uh, watching one uh, penny stock uh, which is uh, open door open door has completely destroyed small traders 
you know in last two years it went down almost from 39 to a low of 146 anybody who traded this without hedges has ruined you know i know personally a lot of people who invested huge amount of money and kept buying 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 in every drop and they had no idea of how to hedge so please don't destroy your accounts by trading without hedges and uh, you know open door coming to open door there is a very bullish setup coming up again uh, this is the reliable system and uh, let's see uh, but don't trade this without hedges idly you know you can also go and buy three calls uh, calls of three strike and somebody who's looking at long term you know if this move sustains because it can be big beneficiary of interest rate cuts we can also buy a four dollar four calls strike calls at least six months so let's see what comes out another trade that uh, i suggested on my uh, free channel was uh, this lucid so lucid signal actually came in we got in little earlier and uh, we got uh, into 4.5 calls for september which uh, almost went made a high of 200 percent we sold out all and even in cash you know if you and see again you know coming back to lucid see these are technically great stocks to trade who can follow hedges and who can you know really control their emotions in check uh, whenever you are trading you know the only purpose and only thing that you control is how much loss you can make if you are wrong and while we are not we everything else is out of your control when will a stock move if a stock will move how much it will move you know you have don't control anything while you only control one thing is how much you will lose if you are wrong and we are not focusing on that we are focusing on everything else in the world whenever this move comes you get a very good 20 percent kind of a move here it comes sometimes even more than that like this move came in 296 we went up and made a high of 434 which is a 30 35 percent move which stock will give you that but if you are trading it without any plan you might lose everything that you have in that trade and consistently these moves come in this even in a downtrend so if you want to take a long term position please hedge if you want to learn the hedging system please let me know you know we can do a workshop i do a paid workshop for that and we can talk about it then there is crude oil now crude oil as you know is my favorite uh, future to trade so we had a very good signal on uh, crude oil and in crude oil uh, you know there was sorry this system is this we uh, if you remember you know uh, we gave this signal uh, we went long on crude oil here and then we exited here and then it again rallied till you know another four five percent and then there there was another signal which triggered sell and then it was in a downtrend for some time and then we got another signal here and i i took it long here and i got uh, fizzled out here but i was because of my hedges i was in control I didn't check out and then the next signal came in I have got out in profits I gave this on my VIX channel so if you again with hedges crude oil is very volatile trading it without hedges can be very risky so please uh, take control uh, there are we'll quickly see some stocks like Amazon Amazon is uh, is again it took the signal it's going up we are uh, bullish on this right now we have not created a position but we might then micron we took a long trade here uh, we are got into resistance and the trade has gone against us there is a possibility that it may recover but if this closes below this low we may have to exit our position thank you guys uh, if there are any stocks you want me to track let me know you can follow us on youtube by clicking on this you can also join my free group uh, free telegram channel and we have a free group also for giving our intraday levels to all our clients uh, so let me know and we also have premium services where we provide swing alerts on stocks options and also um, ETFs our ETF system has very high win rate so please explore that thank you bye bye